everybody, it's Chris, and today I'm going to attempt to hook up the video toaster monitor, but first I need to fire the Amiga up. This is the one with the Vampire, and it has a microwave flicker fixer inside that the video toaster will be using that slot. For my preview monitor, it's a literally a 5 inch black and white TV, but it only has a coaxial out, so this is going to be like a cabling nightmare, so it's going to go into a converter that's going to convert it to, there we go, that's hooked up, oh, there's my water heater making an appearance, there we go, so I got the flicker fixer in here, which is VGA, it's the mouse off the, oh no, this is Lance Armstrong, he's missing his ball, alright, let me get a, I'll have to use the it's the Amiga Kit Optical. Okay, so this has the Xsurf 100 with the USB, the video toaster software to a USB drive. And I'm just gonna basically you know, use the USB to get it over here because it's 500 megs. If you, if you haven't seen the video toaster software, it's 500 megabyte. Uh, it's 47 880K discs. And that's not the flyer stuff, that's just the latest three whatever of the video toaster. Alright, so the 2000's hooked up right now. I got both the VGA and the HDMI from the Vampire into the Dell. I don't have any BNC cable. Well, I do, but it's like somewhere. But these convert it into RCA. So you can just stick this on, line up your little dude, and there you go. And I got ten of them because that's what was being booting. 3141 it might be in VGA, it might be in RTG, I don't know. To VGA, which is going to come out of the microwave flicker fixer. So there's my 15 kilohertz-ish signal. 16 color. Or 8 color. High res least. So I'm going to leave it on that for now. Take the two screws out of the back here. Let's take the microwave out. Ever so carefully. It's a very simple card. In its place, we're going to stick Hoss here, and this is a monster truck of a card, and it just barely will fit in here. Holy crap. Do I have to take the damn tray out? You've got to be kidding me. Very tight, unless I can just kind of, kind of... Here. There we go. Good. So with a little persuasion there, I'm even going to reuse the screws from the microwave. I don't even know if this card works. I'm going to fire the Amiga back up, and I will have to use my SCART to HDMI guy. And we're booting now. This is a very basic install of Workbench. Now it's a little bit off because I'm on the, the native port and the overscan is going to be weird. So let me just fix the overscan here. And I'm going to use this for the main Amiga monitor. I'll use this for the toaster preview and I'll use the 2002 slash 1084 for the uh, whatever. So 3141, 1 mega chip, 140 megs of fast because I got the 8 from the GDP. There's a lot of headers and things on the toaster board that I really just do not know. Good lord, my Fat95 messed up. So there's my Lexar. It is an hour later and I'm still having PC problems. So I put the ADF and the ISO on there. The ADF I need to mount. I'll just mount that with Go ADF. And point it to where the directory is so I don't have to slop 42 discs. 7,000 files for the video toaster see you're kind of rolling along right here holy moly this is the slowest copy in the world five seconds great eject Lexar here we go so this is the long back end here go ADF and mount that uh, floppy disk I really don't know what I'm doing with this Read me. 4 3 install in. We're going to do 3 1 install. 
proceed, proceed. Do you have a toaster 4000 or a toaster 2000? We're going to select DH1. VT4 underscore 3. So this is how I'm getting around that. I'm going to assign the VT4 underscore 3 to that directory. DW. And we're going to go to LexR. And it's this. Yeah. So we're going to rename this to can't do this on a PC. VT four underscore three. Okay. Lexar VT four three. Then we're open up a shell. Whoops, not mu. Any W S A G L L. We're gonna do a sign. Oh. I hate this resolution. I am so spoiled. Assign VT4 underscore 3 colon to Lexar VT4 underscore 3 quote go. And just hit retry. And now it'll copy because I made the assign of where the directory was. It thinks that's the CD and it's a copy in a way. Alright, the readme file has been updated with new features of bug fixes. Please read this file. Nope. Installation is complete. Reboot your stuff. Toaster Flyer 3.1 CD can be found in your toaster drawer partition. Awesome. I don't know. I think the bottom one was preview of my... It's been like forever. So, what I'm going to do is set this here. Because that's cool. And it's just not going to work with me here. Alright, so I got these dudes here. These are BNC to uh, RCA. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-populate these guys because I don't have any BNC. And if you want to use more than one input, you're going to need a time-based corrector, which I have. I just don't... Uh, necessarily well I got the room in there all right so with those we're ready to be something this old TV from 1921 this has a coaxial cable which goes here this goes there and that goes there Channel three. I think I'm finally ready. So, TV, turn the spine down. Don't need an antenna, because everything's digital now. This should warm up. It's an actual tube TV, CRT. We'll just do this one. Placing light wave 3.2 is active version. That's weird. My 3000 just turned itself on when I launched the video twister. Could not obtain chip memory. Let's take this downtown, Charlie Brown. Let's go poop mode, screen, four color. Just do it, man. Let's take workbench pattern. Pattern, save. All right, let's reboot it. So this guy is taking my little whatever the hell this is and converting it into RCA. Because that, this has a 300 ohm input that I have split into a coaxial cable. Nothing else is running. DH1, start toaster. Placing Lightwave 3.2 as version. Launching video toaster. Okay, there's the K. All right, there we go. So, I'm okay on my mount. This looks like Dookie. So I don't know what's going on with my screen here that's freaking out. All right, so this, I don't know if this is right. What's this one? Okay, never mind. So this is my output monitor. I had them backwards. So there's my transitional effect. I might as well run it to a small television that I have. But the cool thing is, one, two, three, four, I don't have it hooked up. 
the important thing is the toaster card works, right? There's your effects, which you can barely see. And I apologize, this is like turds on rice. So there's your blood drip. I think there's a Kiki stock hammer in here somewhere. I don't know. This is the old one. Let's see. B. Yeah, here she is. So here's your Kiki stock hammer coming out and grabbing the thing and whoop. Uh, here was a walk one or flip. I'm sorry. This will look better considering that's my hand and that's the television. It's literally a five inch diagonal across so it's pretty uh pretty tiny but it, it works so this is the three one these are the effects you're not going to really see good effects on this monitor because my input is still the color bar that this is a black and white tv so i need to get some more monitors to make this work and I got to put the gen lock in so I can do more than one input source but it's nice to see that the effects are working now here's something it apparently is uh what the hell's going on with my zoom it's apparently showing on here too in color just briefly I don't know what the freak out is She's in blue here. And you're not really seeing a lot. Well, it looks better on camera than it does here. The gears. I don't know what's the deal with the weird coloring. So the bottom is my pre. The bottom port is my preview monitor. The one above it is out, and the other ones are four inputs that I have to figure out the inputs yeah, it's not gonna transition too well on the same thing but you might be able to get to see some of the effects football guy baseball dude these are tiny this is so tiny the weightlifter man Whoa. watch this so, I want to select DV2 and DV1 lights up, like, something's weird going on here. I select DV2 here, nothing. I can select the preview, but I can't get my monitor back down here. Because it keeps, something's like, freaking out here. Now I just lost all color. The card is getting warm. Can't select. Get off. Yeah, something happened. Reboot. We're gonna do the other one. Okay, my preview monitor just came back to life, thankfully. There we go. So now she's working. So I can switch between one and two. All right. Okay, color bar, DV1. Check my blood. We are bleeding. Okay, effects are working again on the screen. Yay. Let's try Lightwave. Awesome. With the vampire. Man, this is this uh This rotation is like just smooth as butter. Rendering time, three seconds. Okay, well, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see if the paint works. I'm just making sure all this stuff is working. Good. The 
sounds great. Here's my good on my little preview screen down here. It says, good. This looks like doo doo. It's just this crappy old TV. Looks like a big TV now. So that's cool. I don't know what this freak out is. It's just like really a. Uh, I'm just losing. Oh, now it's just running. Chris Edwards says hi. Great. And now it starts to freak out. We're losing color. Something's up. It probably needs to be recapped. I gotta take a peek at it. Because when it gets warm, it starts to freak out. Ooh. That made a weird noise. Gosh, only that's just to load the word high. I don't know what this is. It's crazy stuff. Well, now I have high on my television. There it is. So high. That's my video toaster skills. Yes. Holy moly. How much RAM do I got left? 940K a chip. 138 megs of RAM. So it used 2 megs of RAM. Huh. Let me restart it. Okay, previews back. I need that in color. I need some color monitors. It's not showing nothing. I do like the ball one. It was kind of cool. Whoop. And this was like kick butt for 1993. Well, I don't know what just happened there. I lost everything. So anyway, that is real quick my Video Toaster 2000. This isn't about my awesome Video Toaster skills because they're non-existent. It was about does this card work and is it functional and, you know, so anyway, it's working-ish. We're having some weird color variations, but the preview's working. Whoops, eh, wrong one. The preview monitor's working with the little video toaster logo. The main one's working for about five minutes until something happens around the edge here and we have some weird issues. I'm gonna look into that. I don't know if it's the SCART to RGB or whatever. I'm gonna hook it up to the real Commodore monitor. Kind of do some testing off camera so I have some more room. But uh, Steve, Thanks for this card. I greatly appreciate it. We'll get it sorted and I'm going to do something with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little endeavor with the Amiga 2000. And I'll get this sorted and maybe learn a little bit before I go making videos on video toaster stuff that I have no clue what I'm doing besides hooking them up and clicking a couple buttons. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.